One of the things we're going to talk about real quickly now is root beer as an example and orange soda just as an example. There's a tendency to have multiple different flavors in your coolers. Again, if you have a giant cooler like they have here, there's probably room and a reason to go ahead and have multiple different flavors. But again, when you're fighting for transactions, when you're fighting to drive business, you have to be very, very careful about carrying too many brands, too many different flavors in a small cooler because what you're going to find is your top selling items, the small coolers, are going to be out of stock constantly. You're going to be spending money, energy, and time stocking the cooler because you just don't have the cooler space, you don't have the transaction counts, you don't have the, the, the volume to really necessitate having so many different flavors. So in this particular one, let's take a look at orange sodas first. We have orange crush, you could include Mountain Dew if you wanted in the orange Mountain Dew. We have orange sunkissed, so now we're already at three flavors of orange drinks. We have orange knee high, We have orange knee high, we have orange Fanta, and then we also have orange students. So in this cooler, uh, and also orange sunkist, or which we mentioned, I'm sorry. So we've got, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six flavors of orange juice sodas in the set. Root beer is the same. If we take a look at root beer, you've got uh, Barg's root beer, Mug root beer, Stewart's root beer, AW root beer, and Dad's root beer. So in this cooler, we have five different flavors of root beer in this location. That's a lot of different root beers to sell to a root beer lover.